This is Tubby Iron. I maxed Iron Man with over 6,500 hours of playtime. Without a doubt, this is my best account yet with a bank that's worth over 4.5 billion GP. However, this account still has so many time consuming grinds ahead of it, such as getting the Zuck Helm, the three mega rare powerhouses from all the raids, the Inferno Cape, and much more. Buckle up because we have a very long road out of us. This is the beginning of the end. Last episode, I got one of the biggest drops of my RuneScape career. After completing hundreds of high invocation Tombs of a Masket raids, I managed to spoon the Tomb Aken Shadow. The strongest staff in old school RuneScape is now in my possession. Within the Tombs of a Masket, the staff is actually buffed and it is capable of hitting over 80 damage per hit when salted. Outside of the raid, the passive effect of the Tomb Aken Shadow multiplies your total magic strength by 3 times instead of 4, which is still ridiculously strong. The Shadow has the power of being able to kill many of the bosses in RuneScape with ease. Even bosses with extremely high magic defense levels stand no chance against this thing. That being said, I think it's time to pay an old friend a visit. I still only own one out of the three Missouri armor pieces, but getting a full set of fortified Missouri is one of the things on my to-do list. In order to do that, I need to break down armored armor that comes from Kriara. Let's face it, Kriara is probably the most outdated and least fun boss within the God Wars dungeon. Using the Twisted Bow or Black Tinchampas are pretty much the only reliable ways of killing Kriara. I don't like catching Tinchampas and I don't have a T-Bow, so this is where the Tumic and Shadow comes into play. Maging Kriara with the Tumic and Shadow is one of the most efficient ways of killing him. It's not even comparable to the previous methods that I used to use, being Red Shins or the Bofa Walk Under method. The wiki says it's nearly 30 kills an hour, so surely I should be able to pull the remaining armadillo pieces that I need with relative ease. Alright, just started my first trip with the shadow and Kriara dies very fast as you can see, getting 30 second kills pretty consistently. Well that went pretty smoothly, I need to replace the Kodai with a blood scepter and put water into my pouch. You need to freeze the minions in a very specific spot so you can walk under and safe spot them while keeping Kriara in place. If Kriara moves and pushes you back, the method is pretty much ruined and it gets pretty tricky to set up a good minion stack again. But with water runes, the Tumic and Shadow can cast Ice Barrage, and I won't risk the chance of Kriar moving while easily setting up the safe spot. There we go, that's much better. Now with the only damage that I take are Kriar's occasional mage hits. I have aviancies left to go, but I'm out of prayer and I can't do any more kills. I think I'll go bank on X and bring in a Ancestral Hat Switch and see how this goes off task. If I can not worry about point boosting and getting aviancy tasks, this grind will be way faster. Alright, task is done, Ancestral Hat is on, and let's see how off-task Kriara goes with the Shadow. Armadil Hilt number 3 I think? It sucks cause it is way more rare than the Armadil armor pieces, but it's so useless for Iron Man, as far as I'm aware. Guess I'll just take the 10 mil bank value. Hard clue as well. Yeah, screw this. I am getting absolutely smacked. Being on task makes the kills much more cozy and the barrage is almost never splashed, so I think for now I should just stick to getting tasks. It appears that I am a very skilled slayer. Another ABNC task acquired just like that. Nice and easy. No material just yet. Well, another task done. Not a crumb of loot this time around. I'm going to try to sneak in a few more kills off task and then I will attempt to grab another task. Wow, Duradol is actually being nice for once. If it's this easy getting tasks the whole way through, there really is no reason to force it off task. Slayer Helmet and nearly a max mage setup against Kriara is just so insanely powerful. 781 KC, we got 3 helmets and 3 hilts. It's a pretty ugly looking log, but surely it's a kill more Kriara. I get closer and closer to being able to fortify my Missouri body and eventually the other pieces. But screw all of that, there's a dragon imp flying by. Gimme this. Sorry Big Poo, this one is mine. 208 baby dragon bones. That's pretty lame. I wanted to buy some chaos runes for the shadow, but I noticed the crystal impling flying by. Surely pathing around the entire city for this one impling is worth it. Three rune scimitars. Pretty much all of my GP nowadays is going towards buying chaos runes for the shadow, and it is quite expensive, so I need all the GP I can get. Alright, fun's over. Back to Kriara. As much as I hate this boss, pulling the shadow has made it infinitely more enjoyable. This method is so reclined. All you need to do is lure the minion, freeze, walk under, do 6 hits on the boss, refreeze the minions, and repeat the cycle. The God Wars dungeon loot is pretty boring. Apart from the big uniques, everything else is kind of meh. I guess the GP, bird's nest, herbs, 
and occasional UCs aren't too bad. I don't know what's worse. The fact that I wasn't recording for the drop, or the fact that it's a fourth Armadillo Helm. That's so crazy, man. I mean, dupe helms really aren't all that bad, because you can fortify Mazor using only helmets, but this is not ideal by any means. I really hope this won't be the case for me. Either way, as long as the next drop isn't another hilt, I will be able to fortify my Mazori body, so that's pretty exciting. I completed the Aviancy task, and I usually do the quicker tasks that Duradol gives as I'm hunting for more Aviancies, and Dark Beasts are one of those tasks. Here we have a Superior Dark Beast, and I still need an Eternal Gem. Making Slayer Rings isn't that annoying, but having one with infinite charges sounds awesome. Surely it's going to drop here? Rune Mud Helm. Maybe I'll get it next time. Surprise, surprise. I got another Kriara task. The fact that I can kill Kriara in 21 seconds with this setup makes me so happy. That's the beautiful thing about the Tumic and Shadow. It makes bad content fun. These Aviancy tasks suck when you don't pull any drops, but at least you pretty much guarantee your hard clue to drop each task. I'm just glad Next Bank exists. Using just a single ecumenical key to secure dozens if not hundreds of Kriara kills is so nice, man. One thing I dislike about all the God Wars bosses is the respawn timer. Like, I know that you need to kill the minions and stuff, but I just have to stand here and wait for 50 seconds. Another minion God Sword Shard drop? Don't need these anymore, but I'll take it, I guess. Okay, I got Ancient Ceremonial Gloves, massive collection lock slot. I know you guys haven't seen most of the grind so far, but I've killed over like 200 Kriar at this point. There just really isn't a whole lot to show. I'm kind of just standing here maging this big bird, praying for some drops. Holy shit, get me out of here. Every time I try to do some kills off task, it just never goes well. Is minus 15% damage really that significant with the shadow? This is my first time ever killing regular Hydras, and I just got a Hydra's heart. I already have the boss green logged minus the dragon knives, but I just wanted to quickly finish my 10th Konar task. No, that's just taking way too long. I need something else. Ah, and that grills in the catacombs. Much, much better. With that random heart pool, I can actually make another brimstone ring. And now I have four of them. Nice. Ecumenical key drops feel so random. Sometimes I get all five of them in like 10 minutes, but sometimes it takes over an hour. Good thing this time it was 10 minutes. I'm down to literally zero Slayer points, and now I'm stuck killing trolls in this stupid Keldrigum dungeon area. Trolls are usually a somewhat decent task, but if it's in this location, just forget about it. It's absolute garbage. I'm surprised the cannon can't even be placed down here. Uh, I just got a shield left half from a dark beast. I'm not wearing a ring of wealth, so the drop rate of this thing must be super rare. I guess if you need a shield left half for the arty hard diary, come kill some dark beasts. After days of point boosting, I'm finally back to Kriara. 921kc, slowly creeping up on triple the drop rate of both the armadil chestplate and the chain skirt. At this point, I'm just interested to see how dry I will go for these items. Sucks that Kriara doesn't drop any restores or prayer pots like the other bosses, but the minions just feed you food like there's no tomorrow. Look at my inventory right now and look at how much food is on the ground. We're eating good. Longbone? That's twice as rare than the items that I'm actually looking for, and I've already gotten like three of them. Ah, <sighs> at least I get some construction XP, even though I'm maxed. Unless some sort of miracle happens, it looks like I'm going to be hitting 1,000 kill counts. If I was still using chins at this point, I think I would have ran out by now. Good thing I have the shadow. Another task completed with nothing to my name besides this dumb longbone. I am so dry at this boss. It feels like it's been forever since the last Armadil Helm drop. I still only need one more armor drop of any kind to fortify my Missouri body. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you 1,000 Kriara KC. No matter what boss you are doing, it's such a clean milestone. It's looking like this might be my most killed God Wars dungeon boss soon. This log is just getting worse and worse as the kills go by. Literally only 4 helms and 1024 KC. It's a 1 in 127 drop rate to roll any of the armor drops, and I only have 4 helmets, which is literally the worst piece to get. I was so happy when I got the first one for a foul of the bard step, but now it's just starting to get annoying. If you mess up the minion save spot, you can always resort to just walking under Kriara and trading hits. It definitely reduces a lot of potential damage. I'm a little past it at this point, but Kriara is now officially my most killed God Wars dungeon boss. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth, but here we are. I've been seeing so many crazy drops during these point boosting sessions. I just got a dragon stoner from a bronze dragon. I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, how is this even possible? I guess drops exist everywhere else besides like Kriara. Here's a dark bow from the Dark Beasts. I already got one, but it's cool to see one of these. I don't know, dude. I feel so defeated. Deleting thousands of Slayer points without getting the task you want feels so bad. I'm just going to take a break from this. It's been over a week at this point. I just need to chill for a bit. 
And what better chill content is there than Fosani's Nightmare Baby? 73 magic logs. Getting to use the shadow on the totems here is great. You can literally two-shot them. 816 new personal best. And some sand fuse. Very nice. The Grandmaster time is 7.30, which I'm still over 40 seconds away. But I think if I just get an insane run with good hits, it might be possible with this gear. Mithril Lord with a brand new personal best. Save the whopping two whole seconds. Back to back Mithril Lord drops with a PB again, but this time I saved the one second. We take those. 808 new personal best. Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> Not nothing. Something tells me this kill was really fast. Holy shit, a 7.35? 5 seconds away from the GM time, that's insane. If I didn't step into one of the mushrooms, I easily would have had that. That was a good ass run, we take those. Alright, I did like 30 Fosani Nightmare kills, and I didn't get anything as expected, but I really should go back to Kriara. This was a fun little detour nonetheless. It's a brand new day, I've secured the Kriara task, and I'm feeling good. Enough is enough. Today is the day I fortify my Missouri body. Mark my words. That was a big fat lie. I didn't get anything. Did spooning a shadow curse my account or something? I'm over 1100 KC with basically no good drops. At least a Slayer Cape procced. When I'm down in the dumps, Thirdle has got my back. All this Kriara is making me use tons of bones to beat this tablet, so I'm quickly making some more before the next task. If I'm going to be doing Kriara for the rest of my existence, I may as well knock out some of the combat tasks. I'm opening up a private instance so I can get some of them done. Holy shit, I genuinely thought that was a collection lock pop-up. I got baited so hard. Anyway, swoop no more completed. Easy master task knocked out. I casually have 13 minutes to raise my inventory when I didn't bring in a single one of these. I mean, I'll take the food drops, but like, I'd rather take some uniques. Godsword Shard 2 from a minion. I feel like I have a higher chance of getting drops from the minions than the actual boss. Very nice. Feather Hunter completed. 30 kills in a private instance without banking. I've never bothered with buying a private instance because I don't need to since I'm an Iron Man. Either way, easy GM task in the books. <sighs> well, it actually happened. I finally got another drop. Obviously, it's another helmet because, you know, screw me, but it is enough for what I need. I can now fortify my Missouri body using a bunch of armored helmets, which is really nice, but... I'm still extremely dry on the other pieces, and getting them would speed this whole process up drastically. Whatever. After this trip, I guess I'll be breaking down my helmet collection. Look at all these helmets, man. It's so stupid. Nice, dude. There it is. I just fortified my Missouri body in the most inefficient way possible. One down, two more Missouri pieces to go. The body uses the most armadillion plates to fortify, so it is nice to get it out of the way first. The plan for now is to keep doing Kriara until I have enough armadillion plates to fortify the Missouri mask and the traps. I obviously don't have either of those items just yet, but I just want to finish the boss and never come back, you feel me? God Sword Shard 1, no way! Okay, I know for a fact that Kriara does not drop rune square shields, which means this is somewhere on the rare drop table. Do I even want to know how rare this is? Probably not. Sending some off task Kriara, just to 1200 KC. I feel like I'm slowly losing my mind. Having over triple the drop rate and two different uniques is just kinda disgusting, but what can you do besides keep going? I can't get another Aviancy task for the life of me. This game just sucks. I ran up the entire agility pyramid for Reclusta, but I forgot to take the things out of my stash unit. I can't be the only one who's done this before. Another longbone, but this time it's from some mountain trolls. This is genuinely so weird. I got a rune bar from a sour hog. I keep managing to pull these crazy rare drops like it's nothing. Okay, I got 1100 slayer points. Huge bonus coming from the task streak. Hopefully it's enough to pull at least one aviancy task. So, uh, you remember when I had 1100 points? Well, I now have 27. It's actually so depressing, man. Look at how many tasks I've canceled. It was all for nothing. Ah, it feels bad. First a rune bar, now a curved bone. These sour hogs are something else. I guess I'm just wasting all my RNG in these stupidly rare and useless drops. Two days of point boosting later and I finally have another ABC task. I honestly forgot Kree can even drop elite clues. They are pretty rare from this place, but we got one. Getting elites is always nice. Every other clue tier is pretty easy to obtain, so it's basically a guaranteed master clue. I'm kind of down to not acknowledge that I just got a fourth Armadale Hilt and just go cry in a corner instead. I mean, it's not the end of the world. The task just barely began. There are still tons of opportunities to get the other drops, even if it's more helmets. Whatever, man. Airborne showdown completed. Priara has been defeated while all the bodyguards were dead. That was a pretty free task.
Listen, I don't want to talk about it. I had a billion food in my inventory and I just didn't eat any of it. I know, it's bad. I'm garbage. Once you master this method, the trips can last so long. I just did over 35 kills without banking. If you bring in a ton of restores and get lucky with food drops, you can unironically stay in the instance for like 2 or 3 hours. Quickly knocking out this master clue, I am not sure how the castle he got himself stuck in there. He seems to be chilling. Don't ask me why, but I am unironically doing a brine rat slayer task. I am down bad on slayer points. I can't be wasting points while point boosting. This task isn't even that bad. It's just extremely dead content. Ponar assigning aviancies is a incredible feeling. That is so good. Now I can get some brimmy keys while hunting for the other armadillo pieces. Huge. Brimmy key from the minion. Nice. I think I might do the same thing that I'm doing with my master caskets and wait till I have around 100 of them for a banger loot opening video. 1300 Criara KC, I can't believe that I'm still here. This just has to be some sick joke. Another armadillo helmet. You just can't make this shit up. Am I just going to fortify everything else with the helmets? Is this really how this is going to turn out? I guess I can use this helmet for the mask. Now I just need literally any other armor drop to finish this grind. Or three more helmets. Knowing my luck, it looks like I might be going for another three helmets. Another longbone? Thanks for the 4500 construction XP. Can't wait to push towards 200 mil construction XP using only longbones from Kriara. At this rate, that might happen before they get a chain skirt or a chest piece drop. At least we got two more Brimmy keys this trip. It's, it's something, I guess. Godsword char 2. How did you keep doing it? Wait, what? I got back to back Godsword shards from the minions? This time it was a shard 3. Completing a whole blade 1 trip would be kind of crazy, no? It just makes no sense how I get more aviancy tasks from Konar than Duradel. Literally nothing makes sense to me anymore. My whole existence is a lie. Another task? Another longbone! Somehow I find myself in a situation where I get two different Godsword shards and two different kills yet again. Keep in mind, these are pretty rare. Especially from the minions. It's literally like a 1 in 500 for any of the three shards. Oh my god, I went for it and the Slayer Kit proc and it actually happened. More AVNCs and more Brimmy Keys. That's awesome. 1400 KC, let's go! This guy's doing the Black Salamander kill for the Grandmaster Combat task. Respect to this man. This whole task was all over the place with the drops. Two Brimmy Keys, two Crystal Keys, and yet another Longbone. I'm unironically up like 20k construction XP from all these Longbones. It's one quick Toa run. Maybe I can snipe a quick purple. Kriara is giving me nothing. Eh, it's white. We love Konar. More AVNCs. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I've never actually seen any peak hairs in the Wildy God Wars dungeon area. Thank god I got the teleport off. Losing four ecumenical keys and these clues that I also got would have been so bad. There was like three of them. Man, they got the blood pumping. And so, I continued to kill Kriara for weeks. Or at least I tried my best to do so. This was one of the worst dry streaks that I've ever experienced so far in RuneScape. I was so committed at this point that I simply could just not give up. Most of Kriara's standard drops are pretty bad, and the boss in general is just not fun to do. But I continue to push forward. I got dragon stones, god sword shards, rune spears, rune square shields. I rolled over half of the drops in the rare drop table without ever getting either of the two drops that I was looking for, which are much less rare. I had to do a ridiculous amount of point boosting and ecumenical key farming to continue this grind. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kills later, my recording software was completely closed during my last trip, but as you can see, I did get another Armadil Helm. It has been so long since the last one, so I'm actually kind of happy to finally get a drop. I'm at 1905 KC and I have 7 helmets and 4 hilts. This just has to be one of the worst career logs in RuneScape. I am convinced. You know, I was curious to see what the dry calculator says about my career log, and apparently there's a 0.6% chance of going this dry. This genuinely feels like a grind with no end to it, with how dry I am. 2,000 Kriara kill count without the armadillo chest piece or the chain skirt. Absolutely disgusting. As of now, Zolra is my most killed boss, but it's looking like Kriara might actually surpass that. I thought the rune sword drop was bad, but I just got a D med helm. I could definitely say that this is the first time I've ever gotten this drop from any of the God Wars generals. Oh my fucking god, it's real. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, dude, holy shit, it's over. Oh my god, dude. Armadillo chest plate at 2,029 KC. I fucking did it, man. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Still no chain script, but I don't need it. I now have enough to fortify the remaining Missouri pieces. Ah, I feel so good. Yes, dude, I'm free. I'm free. Actually, hold on. You never know. I might still get the chain script of the pets, so I'm just gonna finish the task. I got nothing. Armadillo chest plate. You had a very short life for how long it took to get you, but I just need the four plates. There we go. 
Now I just have to fortify the Missouri Mask and the Chaps. I think I'm probably never going back to Korea on this account. I don't really care for the pet that much. Oh my god, I got to rank 99 in the Iron Man high scores for Kriara. That is insane! Three pages away from the front page. Being this high of a rank for a boss that's been out for over a decade feels pretty cool. Kriara is now my most killed boss of all time. Seven helmets, one chest piece, four hilts, and still no chain skirts, which is absolute garbage, but it's okay. I never thought in a million years that I would kill a boss this much, let alone Kriara. Anyways, let's see the loot tracker. 192 mil from Kriara, and about 12 mil from the minions, totaling up to 204 million GP earned. I feel like this tracker should have been way better, but it is what it is. We got it done. Seeing the tracker towards the end of a long grind is always satisfying. Anyways, Kriara is no more, and I'll get to move on. If I'm going to have a full best in slot ranged armor set soon, then I need to pair with a twisted bow. I guess I'll see you guys in the chambers of Zarek.